there's things that I want you guys to remember. Point of start, like where the feet are. Like place, you, you try to remember that in your head. For punt, for kicks, it seems like this right here. Cause I want you guys to add this stuff down. Pat, I want these games looking freaking fresh. Freaking fire. Okay, so we got our little puppet. We got our little blue one right here. So pretty much it's pretty simple. If it looks like it hurts, then you're probably doing it wrong. That's, that's what I want you guys to go by. Don't try to do it yourself. Just look up the stuff online. Do not do kicks yourself to test out and see if it hurts. Okay. Um, and then what you'll want to do is put out your uh, keyframe. I do a lot of, like, in order to actually uh, do the keyframe stuff to where it'll onion skin, you have to pull out a timeline first. And then what you'll do is copy the, uh, the last keyframe that you did. That way uh, you'll know where you left off. And by that, I mean, put down a keyframe. Um, and since the keyframe keeps the last position that you did, I usually press uh, click one of these. That way that's just selected. Then I press L2. And since it just keeps the last one that we did, and we're just starting the kick. We want everything to move with it. Still want the dude to look at you. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's a cool position. And usually you want the uh, leg, leg to start to slide because like you could kind of see how it might hurt if the impact starts, you know what I'm saying? So uh, you might want to move that leg. I'm not going to move it though. You don't have to like, you know, go all taekwondo out, you know what I'm saying, unless you want to. But this will work. This will work. Uh, usually, you just, it's it's a it's it's a mixture between if it hurts and if it looks good. It's a mixture between those two things. And then we'll want to copy and paste our last keyframe. That way, it works as an onion skin. Usually, uh, before you start copying and pasting, you might want to do that too, so you don't have to do that throughout every keyframe. So now that we got this one copied and pasted, it, and it's just like the other one, we can now work off of this animation to and extend the uh, kick sequence after clicking on it. Unscope out if you need to. Edit that keyframe, man. Remember, if it looked like it hurt, and it might take a lot of a little bit of trial and error. It's not even that hard. It's just you know, it might take some trial and error. And if you want faster characters, uh, just make less keyframes, guys. If you want a character with, uh, you know, Super Smash Bros, think of that, how people are uh, talking about, you know, frame speed and stuff. Uh, if you want faster characters, just use less keyframes. Make your Meta Knight, uh, make your Meta Knight freaking, freaking, freaking OP, man. So we're starting to get that kick down. I want a little bit of more of the body to move. I want the hand to be more in the air. And then, you know, I want the leg to kind of, I feel like just the top part of the foot's moving. I hate it when it does that. And it's looking like it's, uh, it, it, it's not hurting too much, like, There we go. There we go. Honestly, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I'm not trying to make it too, too perfect, you know what I'm saying? And then you just repeat the process until you're good with it. And I really wanted to uh, kind of make sure that you guys see that I do know what I'm doing, kind of. And then we're going to edit this next keyframe after unscoping out. Edit the next one. Sometimes you'll have to go behind it in order to move it the way you want to. You might have to use R2 and L2, a combination of those buttons, and then selecting the right thing with uh, X. It's a combination of that. If 
it's not gonna let me select this, then uh, I'm just gonna say keep it. Okay, there we go. And then we got another attack animation. There's some stiff things, but uh, it's a funny one. It's a funny one. So pretty much, and then after what you're done with it, you want to downsize it, and then you'll want to loop it or do whatever you're going to do to the timeline right here. But for testing, to make sure that, you know, stuff doesn't look like it hurts, that way you can fix the animation. Um, just go ahead and do this, this. You want to make sure that it's looping first, so that way you can... Uh, See what all you need to fix. Loop. Press play. And then you see there's some pretty cool, like, you know, stuff. It's not the best. Like, again, I feel like that leg should always be straight. But it works. It definitely works. It definitely works. Um, speed it up. Do whatever you need to do. And then another way to speed it up would be to make things closer. So yeah, that's how you can make combat stuff, punches and stuff. It's really just looking up the stuff, guys. Take out the, your time of day to look up frame rates, um, cycles, how many cycles are in a punch. It doesn't even have to be Dreams videos. And that's pretty much it. Because animation for anime, a lot of this stuff looks the same. Look at... Uh, Type in Naruto intro, same as Bleach intro, and it's kind of crazy, guys. It's kind of crazy. So I hope this helps you guys out. It's really simple. It's really simple to make these keyframes, and then you can pretty much make it to where whenever you press circle, and this happens, and then, you know, for the punches, then trigger zones for the stuff. I'll make a video for that in the future. I'm not sure exactly if that's how that works, but I'm only guessing. And uh, thank you so much for giving me your time. This is how you can make combat animations and dreams. And here's the other one where I took more time into it. So put more time into it, edit it away. And that's actually a really good one. Man, dude. Homie over here don't know no Taekwondo. Homie over here hurting himself when he hit landing him hit. He hurting himself. Dog. For real, guys. Don't try to do Taekwondo to learn this. You'll hurt yourself. Just look it up on the internet or something like the, the videos. And then you can, you know, get it right. But uh, for other stuff, always remember feet positions. That seems like it's going to be really important, hand positions. And it's really, it, it's simpler than it looks, but, like, the better you're at it, the less time you'll be spending on it. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and peace.